Hey, Dave here with another piano tutorial. Today we're gonna to learn how to play Get Lucky by the band Daft Punk. All right, now obviously this song is not played as an acoustic piano solo. Um, it's a really awesome dance jam, but uh, once you get out your drum machine or your live drummer and bass player and all this sort of thing, the, you, you will know what to play on your synthesizer after watching this tutorial. So, the whole song is based off one four chord progression. The progression starts with a B minor 7, and then we're going to go to a D, D major chord. Then we're going to go to an F sharp minor 7. Then we're going to go to an E major. And that is it. And there, this is a great tune because sometimes you're playing four chords, but you don't even always have to, have to change your finger positions at all. So and I'll show you what I mean. You're going to start out with your B minor 7 chord. And some people may be looking at my right hand and saying, that doesn't look like a B minor to me. I thought a B minor starts with a B and goes B minor and then 7. Well, one thing you can do with chords that's so cool is you can change the notes around. It's called inversions. And you can, you can, as long as you have these same notes, B, D, F sharp, and A, any combination or order of those notes it is still going to be a B minor 7, especially if you play a B with your left hand. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing my B minor 7. Here's, here's your B minor, and I'm just taking the B, and I'm leaving it out of the chord because I already have it in my left hand, and I'm playing the A that I was playing up here before playing that there with your B in your left hand. All right, now here's the part that I really love. This is where, this is really great for um, if you're kind of like a lazy person like me, you don't even have to work very hard with your right hand. To go to the D, all you have to do is change your left hand note to a D. It's, a mag it's magical, it's a magic trick. How did that happen, you say? Well, it's another thing with inversions. Here's, I was on your B minor seven, and now it's also, a D because you have your D note, D, 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 F sharp, A. Well, look at that. D, F sharp, A. I'm just playing them in a different order, and it happens to be the same exact notes that I did my B minor 7 chord. Do you think the person who created that progression, progression did that on purpose? Yes, they did. Because not only is it easy to play that, but it, it actually sounds really good when you can have the chords, um, two chords that have the exact same notes, and all you have to do is change the bass line to make it a different chord. Here's B minor 7, then D. All right, now we're going to go over to F sharp in your left hand. And guess what? We get to keep our A the same. And instead of these two notes, we're going to bring them down. You're going to bring this middle note from D down to C sharp. You're going to bring this F sharp down to E. Some people may say that looks like an A major chord. Yes, it is an A major chord. But when we're playing an F sharp in the bass line, it becomes an F sharp minor 7 chord. So to review, we have B minor 7, D. Keep this note the same, bring these two down. F sharp minor 7. And now we're actually going to change this note, bring this up to a B, bring this one up to an E, and bring that one up to a G sharp. And this is a form of an E major chord. It's not in first, it's not in reposition, right, like this. You're putting your E is over here, here's your B and here's your G sharp. So, is basically it except for the rhythm if you are if you are playing in a band or if you just basically uh, if you have a bass player play then you will find a cool sound um, not like this I'm gonna put this in a string sound because I don't have a lot of sounds on this and you might have like a cool synth sound and it might be like If you play in a band like I do, where I'm actually the bass player because I play the I play the bass part with a left hand bass sound um, on on my keyboard, you have to know how to the rhythm to play the bass line. So which would be this? Okay, the next. 
next step for this, as I said, if you're if if if, you're, if all you're doing is playing the keyboard part, you have a bass player. This part, you really all you do is just play the chords. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then basically you just kind of check out for the rest of the night, you know, the rest of the song on that. You just you just keep going on that. It's an extremely easy uh, piano part. Um, which is good if you're the singer, so you can concentrate on your singing. But if you're playing the left hand bass line, um, I would suggest practicing with, if you have a drum machine or a, or a program in your keyboard that plays a beat, um, you know, put it on a steady 2-4 beat, and because it's pretty much of a steady kind of a disco song. And is Get Lucky by Daft Punk. Um, also, by the way, an interesting uh, thing about that song is uh, when I first heard that song, I'm like, man, that sounds like, like disco from the late 70s. And sure enough, the song features guitarist Niall Rogers, who was one of the founding members of the band Chic, uh, who did had tons and tons of great disco hits in the 70s. And you can see Niall on the video uh, playing along. He, he, and that's, to me, what makes the song so fun is his guitar part that he plays on there too so we didn't even go into that but if you never really noticed the guitar part go and check that song out with his awesome guitar picking that he's doing through that whole song Mr. Niall Rogers thank you Niall for coming back and giving us another great disco hit in the new century uh, check out my other videos my name is Dave check them out on Rock Show Academy YouTube channel